for you. Um, why do we have communion? Hi, mommy! You and your fishy friend have a great question. Why do we share communion together with fabric? There is a whole ocean of ways to answer that question, but I think the best way I can think of is that it helps us to remember that we are deeply woven. Remember those three strands of our rope? Our self strand, the other strand, and the third strand that reminds us of the love that is in us, around us, and part of all that is? Well, communion is something that we can touch and taste and that we do over and over and over again to help us remember who our best selves are and that we are loved. It reminds us that everyone is part of that big vision of love that God has for the world. When we share communion with each other, it reminds us that we are always invited, always welcome, and always loved. I guess in a clamshell, you could say that communion is about remembering. Hey, can you help me remind people that remembering? Turn to a friend and say, communion is about remembering. Okay? Got it? Go! Why does it represent the Last Supper? Yo, Turner! What's up? Thanks for your question about the Last Supper. Turner is talking about the meal that Jesus shared with his friends before he died. You can find that story in the Bible in the books that are called Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I wonder if you can spot any parts that feel the same as when we share communion. Jesus wanted his friends to remember all the ways that they had been sharing God's big vision of love with people and that they would be ready to carry on that sharing even after he was gone. I think he also really wanted them to know that no matter what, there wasn't anything that could keep them from God's love. Knowing that love was worth everything, even his life. Jesus wanted his friends and us to always remember that. So when Jesus shared that meal with his friends, he said, remember. I think Jesus wasn't just talking to his friends in the room that night. He was talking to us too. Jesus wants us to remember how nothing, not even death, can stop love. Why do some churches do communion and some churches don't? Hello, Thea! Did you know that sharks can hear a sound that an injured fish makes called a yummy hum that helps them to find food? And did you know that when sharks are hunting for food, they can jump over 10 feet above the water? And did you know that sharks have been around since before trees existed? And did you know that sharks don't have any bones? There are so many unique and cool things about sharks. I could go on and on and on and on. But your question about why some churches share communion and some don't got me thinking all about the ways sharks are unique. Churches are unique too. Most of them have a way of sharing communion. Some do it every time they get together. Some have a specific schedule for when communion happens. And some only share it on special occasions. Some have little tiny wafer crackers. And some have homemade bread. Fabric finds times and ways to share communion that help people connect with that big idea about God's love and how we are all connected to each other. Fabric also wants to make sure that there isn't anything that feels like a barrier for people to remember that they are included. 
It's about relationships more than rules about how and when to do things like communion. One time, we even shared communion with Doritos and Diet Coke. Ha 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 ha! What do you think about that? Well, I hope that answered your questions. Next week, we'll be talking about something I love. Water! Did you ever wonder what all that splashing around me do around baptism has to do with you? Send me your questions. See you next time. Bye.